The German, Danish and Swedish authorities stubbornly did not present any intelligible reaction to our numerous requests and appeals. We have repeatedly drawn the attention of the Security Council to the fact that their entire reaction was reduced to routine replies with a refusal to cooperate under extremely ridiculous and far-fetched pretexts. They not only ignore Russia's requests but also neglect the opinion of the UN Security Council. The demonstrative inaction of European states can be explained by only one thing – attempts to drag out time in order to cover up the traces of the true perpetrators of the crime. This is also eloquently evidenced by the apparently coordinated information campaign in the Western media, within the framework of which completely absurd versions of what happened are being promoted. The Security Council meeting began with two journalists, Jeff Brodsky and Bryce Green, presenting the facts about what went on with the Nord Stream 2 pipeline and how all the evidence and all roads seem to point to Washington's involvement. Now, when Russian Ambassador Nebenzia took to the floor of the UN Security Council meeting, he pointed out that there seems to be a huge effort by the United States to change the conversation, to redirect to the conversation away from the facts of the case because it's pretty obvious that prior to the destruction of the Nord Stream pipeline the United States had threatened to carry out such action and that kind of indicates that the United States probably is the perpetrator here's what the Russian ambassador had to say before the council how do you consider the repeated threats against the Nord Stream from top U.S. leadership? They voiced this more than once. However, as soon as the inconvenient facts were revealed, the Americans and their European allies began to interfere in every possible way with an international investigation. They are much more profitable in a situation in which Western countries have complete freedom of action and impunity in the framework of the so-called rules-based order imposed on the whole world, which has nothing to do do with the international law. It's also important to note that the representatives of Sweden, Denmark and Germany were not present for the meeting. They did not attend the UN Security Council meeting and in his remarks uh, Ambassador Nebenzia pointed out that even though it was on their territorial waters that this attack took place, the three countries seem to be doing everything they can to prevent uh, investigations from coming to a real conclusion about what happened. They're very afraid of what those results might show. So uh, this is an interesting meeting of the UN Security Council. Uh, Russia presenting evidence and the United States and its allies simply dismissing it with broad statements and playing into anti-Russian hysteria. Uh, that's what we saw at the UN Security Council here today.